University of Suffolk, Brightspace Tutorials. Navigating on Brightspace. Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to log into Brightspace and how to find your module. We will also look at how to use the various menus that you will find in Brightspace. First, open your web browser and navigate to brightspace.us.ac.uk. There is also a link in My Suffolk. Your login will be your staff or student number, not including, at uos.ac.uk. Your password will be the same as your network password. Once you've logged in, you will be taken to your Brightspace homepage. Here, you will find quick access to all of your modules. While we're here, it's worth pointing out the different menus we have available. You will hear these referred to in our Brightspace CPD courses and our tutorials. Now let's look at those menus in more detail. Starting in the top left, you have a button called My Home. This has been set to show the University of Suffolk logo. Clicking it will take you back to your Brightspace homepage, which is this page. Moving to the top right, you will see the minibar. This icon on the left is the Waffle menu. You can access all of your modules by selecting them from here. If you manage a lot of modules, selecting the pin icon next to the module name will keep it at the top of the list. The Message Alerts icon will notify you of messages or emails that you have received on Brightspace. The Subscription Alerts icon will notify you of updates on discussion forums that you have subscribed to. The Updates icon will display a notification when a wide range of actions take place in any of your modules, such as a user submitting an assignment. Next to this is your profile picture and name. Selecting this will allow you to make changes to your profile or your account settings. You may or may not see a cog in the top right hand corner. These will generally show Brightspace admin settings that we play around with in learning services. So if you don't see the cog, or you only have a few options there, that's perfectly normal. The next menu is the nav bar. It can change slightly depending on which part of Brightspace you are in. For example, this is the navbar which displays on the Brightspace homepage. You also have a range of other widgets on the page designed to keep you updated. We'll have a brief look at those. My Learning Spaces is another way of quickly getting to your modules. Again, you can see the pin icon which allows you to keep modules that you choose at the top of the menu. You have the Announcements widget here, which will show all announcements from all of the modules that you are part of. Amongst other things, you also have the Calendar widget and a link to Support should you need it. That covers the Brightspace homepage and the navigation menus. We'll just have a quick look inside a Brightspace module to see a couple of the changes there. For this purpose, we'll look at our Brightspace example module. Remember, I could select it from my learning spaces or the waffle menu. I can see a quick link here, so we'll select that. So, this is the module homepage for the Brightspace example module. You still have the link to go to the Brightspace homepage. Next to this, you will see the title of your module. This link will display wherever you are in the module and will allow you to return to the module homepage. Your minibar displays as before. The navbar also remains, but with different menu items. For example, Control Panel will allow you to change some of the settings relating to the module. On the module homepage, you'll see the module banner, which can be customised. The Announcements widget will show all of your announcements for this module. 
On the right hand side, the updates widget will display important notifications such as how many submissions have not been graded yet. Moving down, bookmarks will display anything that you personally have bookmarked. Each user's bookmarks are personal to them. If you bookmark something, it won't appear as a bookmark to your students. The Content Progress widget gives an overview of the user's progress through each folder of your content. Finally, the Calendar will display certain deadlines automatically and any other events that you have inputted manually. We're now going to move to the Content area. To do that, we will select Content from the navbar. The page that displays next will be whichever page you are on when you were last here. If a user hasn't been here before, it will display the Overview page by default. This important page gives you the opportunity to establish the key expectations, support mechanisms and structure of your module. On the left, you will see the sidebar. Selecting Table of Contents gives you the broad overview of the module, and you can also select each individual folder or subfolder. That just about covers the basics of how to navigate on Brightspace. Let's just recap the key elements. We've covered the Brightspace homepage, which looks like this. The module homepage, which looks like this. We've looked at My Home the minibar and the navbar. Inside the module, we looked at content and saw the sidebar containing the table of contents. For more information about Brightspace, visit our LibGuides pages on libguides.us.ac.uk forward slash Brightspace. Here you'll find details about support or training, what to do if you have specific questions, as well as a range of tutorials and FAQs.